Hey guys, Erica with a K here. Today's video is going to be on the Your Shadows eyeshadow palette. It's the look that I'm wearing today, and that's about it. Right, guys, so I wasn't sure how I wanted to edit this, but I'm actually gonna go through and tell you exactly what I did. So first of all, this palette can be found in my Amazon affiliate link, which is always, always, always linked in the description below, and it's under makeup. So it's super cheap. I think it was like $14. I hope it's still available. But I'm going with the brown um, colors today. This is like a brown smoky eye. And I want to do the browns because I feel like a lot of people are like, oh, I love that palette. I love the looks. But like, I like natural makeup. And it's like, you can get a natural makeup look out of this. By the way, if you follow me on Instagram, which I hope you do, this look is on my Instagram for my birthday. So I went in with that brown color. And then I went in with the other brown. And I'm using the same brush since they're similar colors. And I'm basically just building this up at this point. Just kind of building that color up a little bit. I want this to be very smoked out I don't want any harsh lines and so there you go this is a MAC brush it's about nine billion years old and um, it's just very fluffy I don't know if you can tell but I'm not using a lot of pressure at all you don't want to use a lot of pressure also a lot of people ask me how do you get your concealer to uh, excuse me I'm getting ahead of myself how do you get your eyeshadow to stay and the key is concealer or a primer on your lid you need one or the other you can't just go right in um, with eyeshadow and think it's going to stay. So I took a different MAC brush. This one's more of a precise one. And I'm going in with that black that's in the corner. And guess what? I'm putting it in my corners. Um, so this is basically just getting pumped right into the corner. I love, love, love doing this with the color black. I just think it's so gorgeous on literally every look. And it just really exaggerates the eyes in a way that I love. Um, so once you're done doing that, you kind of want to put that brush down because you don't want to be smearing that black color all over your lid. So I picked back up that other MAC brush and I'm going back in with that brown color and I am just buffing out the harshness of the black in the corners and I'm just kind of dragging that along and using windshield wiper motions everything in makeup is about blend 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 you don't want harsh lines um, also I don't show you guys my face makeup or anything like that if you guys want to see that please let me know down below I would love to go into detail on all those but I just don't know if that's something you guys want then I'm using my finger for this shimmer shade it's so pretty, but I think it's so important to address that either you have to wet your brush in order to get the shimmers to really shimmer, or you have to use your finger. I prefer my finger on myself, um, and then on other people, I would wet down the brush. I would use a little bit of a setting spray to wet down the brush, pick up some product, and um, apply that and it'll be super shimmery. A lot of things that I do for myself, I wouldn't do professionally like blowing on my brush. It's just not something I would do. So I hope you guys like this makeup look. I finish it off with some eyeliner, obviously my eyebrows, my face makeup, some concealer, blush. Thank you guys so, so much for your love and support. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Until next time, work hard, dream big, eat cake. Bye guys.